a BU controller of a large manufacturing company named Alex, is going through the quarterly results of a business unit. All of a sudden, he notices an unusual high-cost block named Price Differences on the profitability report below the cost of goods manufactured. Comparing it to the results of the previous quarters, Alex notices a trend. With each passing quarter, the price difference increases by 5%. He wonders what the reason for this trend could be, and what exactly is behind these puzzling numbers. To help him clarify the price differences, Alex asks a procurement controller and a couple of plant controllers to join him for a meeting. Do any of you know what could be causing these numbers? Have any products in particular been causing these high price differences? And is there anything we can do about it now? Have we already reached the point at which we need to begin increasing our selling prices to cover these differences? Robert, the plant manager, is the first to answer. Well, due to certain unavoidable defects, we were forced to redo some work on the semi-finished materials. This could be the reason for production cost differences in my plant. Unfortunately, I can't tell you exactly which finished products are concerned, since our SAP system does not provide us with that information. Emily, the procurement controller, adds, We have had fluctuations in the purchase prices of our raw materials. I am able to tell you which suppliers and raw materials were affected. However, I do not have any means of linking them to our own products. Bert, another plant controller, suggests getting in touch with SAP experts to check whether they will be able to retrieve this information from the system. Right after the meeting, Bert calls Michael an expert in SAP Finance and Controlling. Bert says, Tell me, Michael, how can you find out exactly which products were impacted by variances in purchasing and production? Michael replied, Bert, I'm afraid you can't find that information out very easily, as your product costs currently only include standard costs without any variances. But look, there is a solution. The SAP Material Ledger can help in the allocation of all variances to cost of products, work in progress, and stocks. Let me explain how it works. Currently, the cost of our products is the sum total of the standard cost of consumed materials and labor. Let's assume that the standard cost of materials consumed to make a single drawer was 1 plus 2 plus 3, which equals 6 euros. And for six drawers, it equals 36 euros. The labor cost to build six drawers and to assemble the sway is 20 times 6 plus 20, which equals 140 euros. So the standard cost of a drawer sway will be 176 euros in total. If the purchase price of a consumed material varies from the standard price, that variance will not be allocated to semi-finished or finished materials. The BU results will show you product costs at the standard price of 176 euros, and the variance will appear as unassigned below product margins. With Material Ledger, the purchase price variance will be allocated to semi-finished and finished materials. The same thing will happen when irregularities in production occur. The standard product costs will be reevaluated in consideration of all variances, and the actual product costs, including these variances, will appear on the profitability report on the product levels. Let's summarize. With Material Ledger actual costing, variances are allocated to products. Gross margin is inclusive of all actual direct costs. Variances can be analyzed with ease and tracked directly to the source using material ledger reports. Alex is so excited. This is the exact solution he's been looking for. It will help him to gain far more transparency with costs and improve his BU results.